Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, in celebration of Children's Day, we're looking at children all around the world, focusing particularly on Nigeria. Now, I have the honor and the privilege of speaking with one of the brightest minds I have ever met. Her name is Toluwa De Onodele. She is an author, a young girl with big dreams, a big heart, and a very intelligent mind. Hello, Toluwa De. Thank you for joining us on the Good Morning Niger Show. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Thank you for having me. And happy Children's Day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. So I'm going to be interviewing you. I have a conversation with Edewa, and we are going to be speaking with you. We want to get to know you and all that you are about. So if I asked you, who is Toluwa Day, what would you say? Toluwa Day is a young nine-year-old girl who loves dogs and writing stories. So you love dogs and you write stories. So you're an, you're an animal lover, is that what you're saying? I love animals. Okay, so uh, Toluwa Day, uh, now you write stories. Why did you decide to, or how, how did the love for story writing start for you? Is it that because you read a lot of storybooks, or why do you like to write? When I was young, I always read a lot of storybooks. Mm -hmm. And as I grew up, I started to love writing down my thoughts. And yeah. stories just made a way for me to share my thoughts with the world. So I just loved writing. Hmm. Amazing. And... Uh, you, you, so, so reading the storybooks helped you, uh, they prompted your, your, your thoughts on, okay, you can actually do this, not just reading them. I think I would want to share my own views about uh, life as well. So uh, we see that um, you are an author, like you decided that this is what you want to do. So is this a long-term goal for you? Is this what you want to be for the rest of your life? Is this something you want to do for a long term? It's a thing I would like to do for the rest of my life, but it's not my main goal. Okay. So okay. what is your main what goal? What is the main goal? To become a pediatrician. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you want to be a pediatrician. I would like to ask what informed the choice of being a pediatrician. Did mm -hmm. you see anybody in particular that influenced this? Not anybody in my particular, but my grandma is a nurse, and I really love taking care of people and animals. And so that made me want to become a pediatrician because I can do it for children who might not have the chance to get proper health care. Hmm. Interesting. Now, T.D., you are a very, very well-read child. You're a very, very, very strong personality. What would you say has influenced the kind of personality that you have today? Is it your parents or who you are today? What are some of the things that have influenced who you are today? It's definitely my mom. She's always been there for me since I was little, now and forever. <laughs> oh, tell us about your mom, T.D. My mom, she's an amazing person. Oh, she's cool. always there for me. She might seem not happy, but she really loves me. Hmm. And and uh, you, you you get a lot of support from your mom uh, regarding this um, direction you want to go. So so when you write things, do you show them to your mom first to read? To, you know, tell you what to take out, what to add. Do you always have this conversation with your mom? Yes, we always do. Yes, always. <laughs> Tilly, okay. you also, um, I learned that you addressed an international audience at some point. Tell us about it. I went to a modern United Nations conference in New York this February, actually. And how was that experience? How Tell us it? about it. Yeah. I guess to share my ideas with other people who had a similar mindset to me. Hmm. So what was the, uh, the, the subject uh, conversation about? What did you uh, talk about when you were in the conference? 
There are many subjects, but my particular subject was food security and nutrition. Food security and nutrition. Wow, so what, what were some of the things you talked about when you, you discussed food security and nutrition? We talked about how countries can find a way to share food, hmm. how we can make sure that all the food has proper nutrition because ob obesity is a major problem. Wow. And we talked about, we also talked about how we can also ensure that we eat the right food and maintain a proper health standard. Hmm. Tilly, let's talk about some of the fun memories you've had as a child. Today on the show, I and I talked about our fondest memories as children. Yeah. So let's talk about yours. What are some of the things that you know you will never, some of the experiences you've had so far that you know you would never forget? I actually have to think about that one. For real? Okay. <laughs> so, so, so. Probably okay. Probably that. okay, so while you're thinking about that, what do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? Besides reading a book, what do you do for fun? I love drawing. Oh, so why didn't you decide oh. to become a, a fine artist. artist or something? Why didn't you just say, take that as... So do you do that too? Yes, I also draw. I'm still learning at the moment. So. Tilly, do you play any instruments? Yeah, musical instruments. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes, I play the piano. Ah, thank God. I almost wanted to learn playing the piano, though, but... It didn't work out for me. I don't know. It didn't work out. All right, Teddy, usually girls always have a very interesting relationship with their fathers. I mean, I remember I did have a very wonderful relationship with my father. Tell us about the relationship you have with your father. My father and I were probably closer than my mom and I. Whenever my father is around, I just feel like I'm on top of the world. I'm on cloud nine, mm. and when he's always there for me, so, and I will always be there for him. So, so you have a you, you have a very good relationship with your dad, and also a very good relationship with your mom. But uh, you say you rather tilt more when your dad is around. You tilt more to your father. It's like the relationship. Mommy, is very, please very don't strong. be jealous. Tilly loves you. We uh -huh. know Tilly loves you. Don't be jealous of the relationship Tilly has with your dad. <laughs> what are some of the things that you enjoy doing with your dad? We play basketball together. Ah. Nice. Okay. That's good. We play Monopoly and Ludo together. Wow. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Tilly, so there's a lockdown. I'm sure you're very aware of what is happening, the coronavirus pandemic. You're not able to go to school as usual. How would yeah. you say that coronavirus has affected you as a child? For me... What? Network? Oh, the network. Oh, the network shouldn't try. Oh, should network, just do. don't do this. No. You just do... Uh-huh, we're back. Hello, TV, can you hear us? But we have... A... Yes. We okay. All right, can you yes, take, can. Take, the, take the answer again? What are some of the things that coronavirus has affected, you know, or has prevented you from doing? Has it affected you as a child? Education is very important to me, so I haven't been able to go to school during the lockdown, but I've been taking online classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, hasn't it affected, do you, do you visit your friends a lot? Do you go out with your friends, do you hang out with your friends? So, did, uh, has it affected that in any way? Or are you the stay-at-home kind of girl who likes to be on your own? Yes. It has, right? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Maybe it has. But we have Zoom calls every now and then. Oh. Wow. Ah. Beautiful. Now, Tilly, well, let's get to, mm. as, as we get to know you, I'm, I'm curious, what is your favorite food? I'm curious. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Spaghetti and bolognese sauce. A little birdie told me that your favorite food is amala. You don't eat amala? I do. But it's Probably not... comes second. 
Okay, I'm a light like second. So uh, spaghetti and bolognese is first. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Tell us about your friends as well. Who are your friends and how what is the process of selection for you? How do you get to who are these? How do you people? choose your friends? How do you choose your friends? So my three closest friends are Mr. 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 Both of them, all three of them, they always advise me in the right ways, and I feel like they're real friends, and I them. Hmm. You see, it's, it's a good thing from what you said. They advise you in the right way. So that was why you selected them as your closest friends. And I think uh, you, you all have, like, similar goals and uh, aspirations. If you have one person who is an, an author also, right? Well, like coffee and paste. Yeah, like coffee and paste. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. That's so beautiful. Nice one. Nice. That's good, actually. <laughs> she That's said really coffee good. and paste. That's good, really. Didi, let's talk about you as, a, as an author. Now, I hear that you have some work dropping today officially. Tell us about it. Yes. Yeah. So, I don't have my own book, but I have a story in a book. I've written two stories. One is in Dream World, which you should actually go and get. It's an amazing book with amazing stories. And another one which is dropping today is Treasures on the Run. What's, what's it about? Can you give us a hint? What's about? Just a little hint. Treasures on the Run is a collection of stories. I don't know about everybody's story. Okay. But I can definitely tell you a little bit about mine. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us, us a little, little bit about bit. yours. Let's know a little bit about your story. The title of my story is Love is All We Need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about a girl named Fatima who has an interesting relationship with her father. She really wants to get close to her father. But her father, as the village chief, is always busy. And so she will do whatever it takes to get his attention. But you have to read the book to find out what happens. <laughs> Tilly, when you write your stories, do you write them from a personal point of view? Or do you just imagine the story? I write them from what I see around, so I write them from a personal point of view. Beautiful. I can't wait to get a hold of these stories. I, I, will look, I look forward to attending your, your book launch party today and getting to see oh, these yeah. stories myself. And I, congratulations. I'm so proud of you and the work that you're doing, and I wish you all the very best, okay? Thank you. Amazing. Okay, Thank you. before we let you go, TD, um, I know that you, you, you are very, very spontaneous. You are not a shy person. You know how to make good use of moments. So, you said that's all. <laughs> Hello, Tidi. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, I know that you know how to uh, make good use of moments, and I'm going to give you some time on TV to talk about whatever it is you'd like to talk about. I know that you're a very confident girl. And this is an avenue for you to just address us. Talk to us about whatever it is you'd like to talk to us about. The floor is yours. I'd like to talk about how we can make our country or the world a better place. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I'm sure a lot of us have heard of recycling, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, how many of us actually recycle? Good question. Good question. So, we've heard of these things. We've heard that we can share our food with the poor. We can, we've heard that we can donate to maybe cancer organizations. But do we actually do these things? 
So I'd like to call on every Nigerian watching this to not just listen and talk about these things, but should actually put action into it. Amazing. Thank, thank you so much, TD. I, I would remember this word. She's calling on every Nigerian not just to talk to talk, but to walk the walk, not the walk the talk, all right? We look forward to seeing your work. We look forward to seeing you being uh, very worthy ambassadors of all the things that you push to everyone. Recycling, I really like that you mentioned recycling. Well done, Tini. Thank you very much. So, uh, Tini, before yeah. you leave us, we'd like you to say something to uh, children out there. It's Children's Day, right? Are you uh, getting anything special today? Are you, you know, say something good to the kids out there. Just celebrate them. Just say a one message, or two, a word of encouragement. Let's hear you, you know, encourage the kids. What I would like to say to every kid out there, every kid watching this, is that the situation might not look very good right now because of COVID-19. But we're all in this together, and we'll get. Okay.